Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff McQuillan from ESLPOD.com. You're about to listen to a completely new way to improve your English from the most popular language podcast in the world. Over 1.27 million people have used our lessons to improve their English, and now you can too. Start right now. Enjoy. This is English as a Second Language Podcast, episode 867. I'm your host, Dr. Jeff McQuillan, coming to you from the Center for Educational Development in beautiful Los Angeles, California. This episode is a dialogue between Pamela and David about how we might describe physically attractive men and women. Not me, in other words. Let's get started. You know that your tongue is hanging out of your mouth, right? That's because I've never seen so many beautiful women in one place before. Why have I never been to this beach before? Look at her. She's a hottie. Isn't that what you said about that woman over there? No, I said she's a babe. Look at the way she sways when she walks. Stop ogling her or her boyfriend or husband is going to come over here. I'm not ogling. I'm admiring the perfection of the female body. You're undressing her with your eyes. Avert your gaze before you regret it. Oh, wow. What? Check out that guy over there. Hello, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. That pretty boy over there? He's too into himself. Look at the way he's posing so every woman on this beach can get a look at him. He's nothing but an exhibitionist. And the women you've been ogling in the teeny tiny bikinis? Those women? They're just showing off what God gave them. Pamela begins by saying, You know that your tongue is hanging out of your mouth, right? The expression to have your tongue, which is, of course, inside of your mouth, normally, hanging out of your mouth, means that you are sort of like a dog or an animal that sees food and in reaction to that sticks his tongue out. The tongue comes out indicating that he wants that food, that he wants to eat that food. Sometimes this expression is used to describe men who see beautiful women or a beautiful woman and are sort of not aware that they are looking at them or that they are showing their interest in such an obvious way. Pamela is saying that about David. David says, That's because I've never seen so many beautiful women in one place before. Why have I never been to this beach before? So they are down by probably the ocean or a lake that has a beach, a place usually filled with sand that people sit on in order to either sunbathe, that is, take in the sun and have it change the color of their skin, at least if they're light-skinned like me, or to go swimming. And, of course, at beaches, people usually wear swimming gear or swimwear, 
that reveals their body more than you would see almost anywhere else. David says, look at her, pointing to one particular girl. She's a hottie. A hottie, H-O-T-T-I-E, is someone who is very beautiful, very sexually attractive. Pamela says, isn't that what you said about that woman over there? David says, no, I said she's a babe. A babe, B-A-B-E, is a beautiful, young, attractive woman. It really means the same as hottie. Hottie has a little bit more of a sexual meaning. Babe is also a woman who is very attractive. It's a little older word. It was popular in the, I think, late 80s and 90s. A little less popular now, but you'll still hear it. David says, look at the way she sways when she walks. To sway, S-W-A-Y, means to move your body from side to side. And of course, a woman walking down the street may sometimes sway her body naturally from side to side. And men often find that attractive in the way that a woman might be walking. Pamela says, stop ogling her or her boyfriend or husband is going to come over here. To ogle, O-G-L-E, which some people might pronounce oogle like Google, but ogle is the standard pronunciation, means to look at someone usually a man looking at a woman, but could be the other way around, with a strong sense of sexual attraction. You're staring at them. You're looking at them for what would be considered too long of a period to be polite. It might make the other person even uncomfortable the way you are looking at them because you find them so beautiful, so attractive. That's why Pam tells David to stop ogling her, stop looking at her that way, or if he doesn't, the woman's boyfriend or husband may come over here and of course not be very happy that David is looking at his girlfriend or wife. David says, I'm not ogling. I'm admiring the perfection of the female body. I'm just admiring the beauty, her physical beauty. Pamela says, you're undressing her with your eyes. To undress means to take your clothes off. It's the opposite of to dress. To undress a person, someone, with your eyes means that you are looking at that person who has clothes on, but you're imagining them without their clothes. I think you understand what I'm saying here. That's what David is doing, according to Pamela. He's not looking at this woman as some sort of work of art. He's looking at her in a very sexual way. Pamela says, avert your gaze before you regret it. To avert, A-V-E-R-T, means to avoid or to turn away. Your gaze, G-A-Z-E, is your look. You're looking at someone. You're gazing at someone. Avert your gaze means to turn your eyes away from someone. Don't look at something. We might say this if it's something particularly ugly or negative or violent, in this case, we're saying it to David because he might get in trouble if he keeps looking at this beautiful woman who obviously has a man with her. Then Pamela says, oh, wow. David says, what? Pam says, check out that guy over there. Check out. Here is a two-word phrasal verb meaning 
to look at and pay attention to someone or something. Check out this new television show, you might say to someone, and show them on your television what you're talking about. Check out that guy means look at that man over there. Guy, usually in the singular, refers to a man. Guys, G-U-Y-S, plural, can refer to a group of men or it could refer to a group of men and women. So it depends on how you use it. A lot of people will say, hey guys, how's it going? Referring to both men and women. But if you say he's with a guy, you mean he's with a man, not a woman. So guy in the singular is usually a man. Guys can be men or men and women. Getting back to the story then, Pamela is looking at some guy, some man, and she says, hello, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. The expression tall, dark, and handsome describes the perfect man that many women are looking for, a man who is tall, a man who has perhaps dark skin and dark eyes, although, of course, not all women like men with dark skin and dark eyes, fortunately for me, since I have neither. Handsome H-A-N-D-S-O-M-E is a way of describing a man who is very physically attractive. A good-looking man would be described as handsome. We wouldn't typically use handsome to describe a woman or a girl. Usually it's just for a boy or a man. David says, That pretty boy over there, he's too into himself. A pretty boy, P-R-E-T-T-Y, boy, is a man who takes care of his physical appearance, who probably spends a lot of time and money on his hair and on his clothing. Some men, of course, think that other men who do that are somehow too much concerned about their physical appearance. A real man doesn't worry about how his hair looks. That would be the idea. I don't worry about how my hair looks, for example. Pretty boy is used here somewhat as a insult to this man. He's too into himself, David says. To be into yourself means to be very interested in what you are doing in your appearance almost to the point of being very selfish or self-centered. I only care about me. That's the idea behind this phrase, to be into yourself. David says, look at the way he's posing so every woman on the beach can get a look at him. To pose, P-O-S-E, means here to position your body in a particular way, usually for a photograph, so that you appear more beautiful. You may turn one way or another, turn your face or your head from one side to another. That would be to pose. This man is posing, according to David, so that all the other women on the beach can look at him. He says... He's nothing but an exhibitionist. An exhibitionist, E-X-H-I-B-I-T-I-O-N-I-S-T, is someone who wants to be noticed by other people, who does things so that other people pay attention to him or her. Some people even go so far as to take off part of their clothing so that other people will notice them. That's usually the connection we have to this word. An exhibitionist is often someone who will try to get other people to pay attention to them by taking their clothes off. Pamela says, 
And the women you've been ogling in the teeny tiny bikinis? Pamela's saying that the women that David has been looking at are also exhibitionists because they have teeny tiny bikinis. A bikini, B I K I N I, is a small two piece, we would call it, bathing suit for women. The top part of the bathing suit goes around a woman's chest or breasts, and the bottom part goes where she would wear a pair of underwear. Teeny tiny means very small, so these bikinis are not very big relative to the women who are wearing them. That is, you can see a lot of their skin. David says those women... They're just showing off what God gave them. To show off is a two-word phrasal verb, meaning to make something visible to other people so they can admire it, so they can see how beautiful it is. We can also use this expression when we tell people things about ourselves that we want to impress them with. Oh, I just won a Nobel Prize in literature, didn't I tell you? You are showing off. You are telling other people about your accomplishments or you're showing them something physically that you want them to admire. You want them to say, oh, well, that's very beautiful or that's very impressive. Congratulations on your Nobel Prize for literature. What God gave Someone is a phrase that we use to describe your natural abilities or your physical appearance. So when David says that the women are just showing off what God gave them, he's saying that the women are just showing the world the, the gifts, if you will, that God has given them in creating their beautiful bodies. I think that's what David is trying to say here. Now let's listen to the dialogue, this time at a normal speed. You know that your tongue is hanging out of your mouth, right? That's because I've never seen so many beautiful women in one place before. Why have I never been to this beach before? Look at her. She's a hottie. Isn't that what you said about that woman over there? No, I said she's a babe. Look at the way she sways when she walks. Stop ogling her, or her boyfriend or husband is going to come over here. I'm not ogling. I'm admiring the perfection of the female body. You're undressing her with your eyes. Avert your gaze before you regret it. Oh, wow. What? Check out that guy over there. Hello, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. That pretty boy over there? He's too into himself. Look at the way he's posing so every woman on this beach can get a look at him. He's nothing but an exhibitionist. And the women you've been ogling in the teeny tiny bikinis? Those women? They're just showing off what God gave them. That's it. No tests. No exercises. No special software. Get what's worked for 1.27 million people in 189 countries. ESLpod.com Log on to listen to the audio lessons and read the learning guides. We have over 1,500 lessons prepared by former university professors. Taught by Dr. Jeff McQuillan, one of the most talked about and respected English teachers in the world. It's simple. It works. It's ESL Podcast.